Some Pokemon Dex entries are so crazy, it's impossible to believe that they're true, which is where this quiz comes into play. There are four rounds to this quiz that steadily get harder as we go. In each round, there will be three Pokemon. Two of them will have fully true Pokedex entries. One of them's gonna have something wrong with it in some way, whether it's a sentence or a word or belongs to a different Pokemon. In some way, one of them is a lie. It's now your job to figure out which one it is. So come on, play along with me and my friends, see which one of my friends you beat in the end, see and test your Pokemon knowledge or your amazing guessing skills. Side note before we get started, I mentioned this a couple times in the video, but this is the fourth attempt that we made at recording this. Three other times something went wrong in the recording, and all three of those times we had a different winner. So they've all won this quiz once and seen it three times, which means that I really had to try and figure out ways to stump them this fourth time. I really like the layout and I really like how everything worked out. So let's get on to the quiz. Josh Peterwill, thank you so much for joining me for, dare I say, the fourth time that you guys are doing this quiz. That's right, everybody watching at home. We tried recording this quiz three times, and each time, one of them won. So they've all won this once. I've had to restructure this quiz four times. So we guys got a real tiebreaker this time, thank goodness. Pokedex quiz, Gen 2 edition. The rules are very simple. Two of the three entries each round are fully true. The dex entries can be pulled and mixed from any gen for that Pokemon. Correct answers equal one point. Whoever wins this time wins for real. Woo! That's like, Woo! guys, I promise Woo! this time it'll happen. <laughs> if it records correctly, that is. It's everything's good. I promise. And if not, me and Zane aren't friends anymore. I, yeah, I, I feel like that's fair after four <laughs> failed attempts. <laughs> what are you doing with Zane for the fifth time? Exactly what we just <laughs> did. Pokeball, easy mode. One dex entry is 100% fake. Number one. Totodile. It is small, but rough and tough. It won't hesitate to take a bite out of anything that moves. Hoot Hoot. Hoot Hoot has an internal organ that senses and tracks the Earth's rotation. Centrat. When it gets bored, it likes to suffocate smaller Pokemon underneath its <laughs> tail. <laughs> it feels empowered by this. Somehow it still sleeps like a baby at night, feeling zero guilt for its devilish habits. Boys, which one of these is 100% fake? I mean, yeah, you weren't kidding. One of these is an obvious lie. Yeah, one of these is an obvious lie. You yeah. had me for a minute there with the hoodoo. <laughs> we all know at this point that Centred doesn't have a tail. So. <laughs> so. That's true. Centred is the imposter based off of that alone. Yeah. 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 The suffocating, that, that I think I remember, but it having a tail? That's part of the Pokedex for sure. <laughs> you guys all got an answer? I'm ready. I'm locked in. Yeah, I'm ready. All right, boys, let me see them answers. Everybody said C. <laughs> Everybody believes that this boy is actually not suffocating people for fun. I thought at least one of you might get tricked by Hoot Hoot's clock, honestly. Having an internal organ that senses the Earth's rotation does sound pretty wild. I mean, it's that weird. That does sound pretty wild. Yeah. yeah. Just for clarification for everybody watching, the correct answer here is, in fact, Centret. Good job, everybody. Off to a great start. All right, next one. Spinarak. The web it spins can be considered its second nervous system. That's the whole thing. Marie. Huh? In the summer, the fleece is fully shed, but it grows back in a week. Meryl. Oh. The blueberry on its tail will always... <laughs> 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 the blueberry on its tail will always point towards the nearest blueberry bush. Oh. This is because blueberries are a hive mind. I was concerned after the I'm... first and second. I was like, Marie <laughs> doesn't get shaved. He just sheds it. That's weird. <laughs> and she goes, the blueberry. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you, sound, you sound confident, Will. Yeah, I was going to say, you're, are you that confident that that is not a blueberry on its tail? I'm locked in on my answer. Okay. Are we denying that blueberries are a hive mind? I said no such thing. <laughs> everybody got an answer? I am ready. Let me see them answers. Once again, everybody said C. Peter, I think that's adorable. The little, the little <laughs> tail is a C. <laughs> I will not deny, Josh, that you also have an adorable little ocean <laughs> that your C is floating in. <laughs> but this still comes down to if you guys are right or not. Everything is fun and games, cute drawings, but did you actually get it right? Maybe. Maybe, and maybe, Yes, you did. <laughs> oh, no. oh, good. All right, boys, last easy one. Hitmontop. Its horn grows continuously through its lifetime. If it spins at high speed, it may bore its way into the ground. Nice. Pichu. Despite its small size, it can zap even adult humans. However, if it does so, it also surprises itself. 
Smeargle. This Pokemon will spend every day restlessly painting portraits of it and its trainer with its tail juice journaling their adventures together. Okay, yeah, good transition into the harder. This one's yeah. stumping me a bit more. Where are your heads at? You guys sound like you're I'm actually really taking not a sure. second here. I'm really I'm, not sure on this one, not gonna lie. Yeah, the, the only stuff is that I'm just thinking like, well, in Super Smash, Pichu does get hurt <laughs> when it uses its own abilities. It says it surprises itself, not hurts itself, though. Well, I don't know how else you'd express that in that game. Well, are you saying that if you get a paper cut that you've surprised your hand? <laughs> <laughs> I, I would think so. I mean, yeah. In a way. Honestly, yeah. <laughs> I mean, after saying it, I can't deny that I probably did surprise my hand right. with that. Everybody ready? All right, I'm ready. All right, mm -hmm. let's see the answers. For the third time in a row, everybody has said C. <laughs> it's like you guys didn't even have to erase. <laughs> it's time to see if C was actually the right answer three times in a row. <laughs> Would he have done that? Would I have actually done that? The correct yes, answer- Yes, is an ACT test. Here is yeah, it's Smeargle. Yay! Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. <laughs> it does. threw me off was the juice because last time you said it was bodily fluid. Yeah, I yeah, the juice is what the juice is what tipped it to me too. But I really, I was hesitant because I was like, does he really go see three times in a row? I I was trying right, to trick you that guys. That threw me off. All right, at the end of one round, everybody is tied at three points, which means that Ooh. it's like nothing's happened Ooh. at all. It's like we haven't done anything. Ooh. It's like so far all you've watched was for nothing. <laughs> so, <laughs> <laughs> now it gets a little bit trickier. Great All ball, right. medium level questions. One dex entry is with the wrong Pokemon. So two are correct and with the right Pokemon. And one of these is real, just not for the Pokemon that it's attached to here. And just to re-clarify, this is still within the same gen? Yes, yeah, everything that okay. you see is still the same gen, yeah. Shuckle, the fluid secreted by its feet indicates its location. <laughs> <laughs> like literally the location of its feet decide where it is. <laughs> is that what we're saying? Where you stand is where you stand. Yeah, like <laughs> you, 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 I do be existing where I where I'm standing. Usually my toes are what secrete that fluid though. Okay. Yeah, right. Hop up. It can be carried away on even the gentlest breeze. That would be a terrible life. <laughs> Trying to hang out with your friends. No. What, what is free will? Right, yeah, I guess they don't know that color. Yeah. <laughs> and whooper. Touching it barehanded will cause a shooting pain. Boys, which one of these is not with the right Pokemon? Not as I It's not as easy I, as easy I, levels, I, was it? How do you have my lock? <laughs> no, I, I it's definitely not whooper because that boy looks like a sea urchin. That's just straight denying, though, that there are any other Gen 2 Pokemon with spikes. <laughs> are there any Are there any mixed thoughts here? I'm pretty comfortable on one. I'm torn between two. I'm leaning okay. one, so I'm just going to send that one. Let me see them answers. You guys did not all guess the same thing. <laughs> Oh no. Josh, you said A, Shuckle. Will and Peter both said C. Whooper. What? What made you guess Shuckle? Because I thought, didn't he say toes last time is what secretes the fluid? Josh, with this category, it's referring to a completely different Pokemon, though. What yeah. other Pokemon would? Oh, I completely forgot about that aspect. Yeah. All right, I'm wrong. Mm. I mean, I guess, is Slugma Gen 2? It could be Slugma, I guess. Yes. Does which Slugma I have I, feet? <laughs> Slugma does wait, not have feet. Which, no, wait, you're right. I totally forgot And while I was drawing my A's house burning down. <laughs> <that it's> like, <laughs> Why is the house totally, burning down? I don't know. He's sad, though. I mean, we're gonna have to wait for the fire for the alphabet fire marshals to show up and tell us why it burned down. What were you thinking, Will, for the alternative for Whooper? Yeah, I just well, Whooper turns into Wobbuffet, correct? No, yeah, no, no. Oh, Whooper turns into Quagsire. 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 Right. But Quagsire is like not a prickly dude, and so I don't no. feel like when I look at Whooper, I see those side things as spikes. So I was thinking probably like Quillfish. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. No, I 100% think you guys are right. I, I, I think... was also thinking Quillfish because they're gills, right? They're not spikes. Actually, I'm also pretty certain oh, yeah, no. on, but I mean, that could oh, also yeah. be Jump Bluff in all fairness. I'm positive. That's what I did last yeah. time. I guess Jump Bluff instead of Hop Up and one of these other ones we did, and I got it wrong. The correct answer here is. Shuckle! <laughs> really? <laughs> it's actually Ladybug! 
What? 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 Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> yeah, oh, boy. No, my, no, wait, my logic was right. Never mind. Yeah. You right. nailed it. That was you absolutely wait a minute, doubted wait, yourself, Josh. Wait a minute. You guys doubted me, which <laughs> made me doubt the answer, which made me, because I was right, my reasoning that the shuffle one was wrong, because it is his toes, it's not his feet, so it was a different Pokemon. Dude, I thought I was trying to guess which one was. I don't Good know. Job, Josh. I got Good it job, right. Josh. Yay. <laughs> Good job, I'm disturbed Josh. disturbed by the fact that Lady Bus secretes fluid from its feet. Yeah. Yeah, what on earth? <laughs> Man, those are little boxing gloves, bro. You have no idea Why how happy I was to find that Pokedex entry because for the last <laughs> three times that we've done this, we've made a joke about the fact that Shuckle secretes this juice from its toes, which is disgusting. And so Terrible. I was like, they are not going to second guess for a minute that this fluid secreted by the feet or whatever is not Shuckle. All right, boys. Next one. Stantler. This Pokemon apparently used to live in much harsher environments and thus it once had had stronger psychic powers than it does now. That's a terrible Pokedex. <laughs> <laughs> It's really so belittling. It used to be cool. <laughs> it really it used to be cool. Lugia. This Pokemon is said to sleep at the bottom of the sea deeper than any other life form can descend, building its energy. Granbull. It can make most any Pokemon run away by opening its big mouth to reveal its thick fangs. It doesn't what need the... to open its mouth to reveal anything. They're I always there. I hate thick fangs. I <laughs> my thick fangs. There's only one of them that I can't think of another Pokemon for, so I think that one does belong right. to that one. I feel like I have good reasons for two of them. Well, we know we know Lugia's is correct. I feel like one hundred percent. One hundred. So it's just between Stantler and Granville, right? But I I feel like I have reasons to suspect either of them is the okay. problem. Okay. Okay. I think I'm ready. Everybody got an Thank answer. You. All right, boys. Let me see the answers. All right, we have three different answers. Wait, what? So Josh, you said A. Stantler and, yep, and the fire marshal figured it out. It is a <laughs> frying pan with a burger in it that he like goes to. Oh, hey, <laughs> Peter said B. Lugia. Really? Yeah. I was a little surprised to hear Will say we know it's not. And what sleeps at the bottom of the ocean? Chinchow or Lantern is what I'm thinking to okay. build its energy. Oh. Okay. Oh, boy. Oh, building energy. Dang it. Will said C. Granbull. Granbull yeah. was the only one I was I, confident on. Well, Houndoom. I, I think that Zane could have been tricking us and he found this and he's like, this is perfect because it doesn't make right. any sense because it says reveal his fangs, but I'm he doesn't need to open his mouth he at all to reveal his fangs. absolutely does. Isn't, right, mm -hmm. <laughs> Josh. I almost went with Stantler because I thought it could have been Zatu. This is That's good. the only one I could think of. I like that you guys cool. had a, a good connection and reasoning for every one of them. The correct answer on this one is, in fact, Lugia. Dang it. Oh, come Let's on. Go. Well okay. spotted, Peter. Well, we ignored it's the oh, Really? It yeah. wasn't, wasn't either the ones that I thought, though. Mm -hmm. Okay. Wow. Another one that I thought you guys would just read and pass over. So I'm glad right. one of you caught that. I was definitely sure that one was not it. That's crazy. Last one in the medium level. Sudowoodle. It will run off if splashed with water, which it hates. Yanma. <laughs> it is a great flyer that is adept at making sudden stops and turning midair. That's Porygon right. too. They seem to communicate amongst each other telepathically. Where are your hmm. heads at, boys? I'm just locking it in right now. I can't tell you where my head's at, Zane. I'd be giving away my answer. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I mean, really the thought process with these is just what other Pokemon fits that description. It's also my job to make sure that I can figure out at least one other Pokemon that that works perfectly for. And I do know a Pokemon for all three of these that it works perfectly for. Oh, dang. What? Now I'm, t now I am torn. I thought about a little more and not the answer that I have written down. I just thought of a pretty good counter argument for, for that a, one instead. I have a, I hear that. Even though I oh. know which one is wrong, I have a good counter argument for all three of them. I gotta uh. stick with my guts on this one. I'm gonna okay. be upset if it's my second thought though. Okay. All right, boys, let's see them answers. Uh, Josh, is that A hanging out on a bench? <laughs> It's sleeping on a couch because it doesn't have a house anymore. Oh, oh no. Oh, no. <laughs> Will and Peter both said C, Porygon 2. I don't want to eat my words here. I don't think Porygon ever is really referred to as anything to do with the psychic type. Okay. So that's that's, that, that's what really oh. jumped for me, but it's really bothering me because I feel like Yonma's dex entry could be Crobat's. All right, boys. The correct answer on this one is Porygon 2. Oh, it is dang. actually Ooh. unknown. Oh, oh God, that makes oh, so much sense. That yeah. makes a lot more that sense. That makes so much sense. You want to know something yep. funny? Because you guys were talking about your reasonings were like, 
I don't see it talking telepathically. Porygon 2 does have a dex entry talking about how Porygon 2 all have a specific language that they talk in that only oh, one another on. can understand. That's see, that, but it's not telepathic. That's why it's cool. It, it's believable because like they're, they're digital Pokemon. So yeah, if anything, right. like I, I could imagine them talking through the cloud or something, but the fact sure. that they made it so psychic is what threw it off. All right, at the end of round two, Peter is in first with five points and Will and oh. Josh are both tied with four yeah. points. Close game. So it's still very oh. close. All right, boys. Ultra Ball, hard level questions. Only Woo. one sentence is wrong. You get one mm. point if you tell me the right Pokemon. You will get another point if you tell me what <laughs> sentence in their dex entry is the wrong sentence also. Tyranitar. Tyranitar will destroy an entire city if awoken too early from hibernation. In just one of its mighty hands, it has the power to make the ground shake and mountains crumble. Suicune. Suicune embodies the compassion of a pure spring of water. It is said that north winds will somehow blow whenever it appears. Fanpy. During the deserted morning hours, it comes ashore where it deftly uses its trunk to take a shower. It is strong despite its compact size. It can easily pick up and carry an adult human on its back. Come on. <laughs> the Fanpy one is wild. <laughs> The fact that it showers itself and it's ground type. We've had the conversation multiple times now about Donfin and Fampy being like allergic to water. <laughs> yeah, they like live near water. And yet water. he showers himself and that's part of his Pokedex. His Pokedex says he showers. <laughs> that thing that kills him, yeah, he does that. I'm really thrown off by comes ashore. I know that that could just mean, you know, yes. he's just going to the coast, but like sure. comes ashore usually refers to from sea to the From shore, sea, right? there's also that. Right. Emerges from under the waves. Oh my gosh. I don't know. Why does he definitely take showers? Why does that even need to be mentioned? <laughs> I can't. He definitely takes showers? <laughs> Come on. All right, boys, let's see them answers. Okay, Josh, you said C, Fan P. Mm -hmm. I believe that the wrong sentence is just the first one, just because it says ashore, and I thought maybe Zane thought, well, maybe they'll think it's too stupid right. and they'll think it's real. <laughs> And sure. so, and so, yeah. So through that, I drew C, giving A a key so he can move into him for with a short amount of time. Oh, thank you, C. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Peter said the exact same thing. He said Fampy, yep. and he said the first oh, sentence shoot. is the lie. Same uh, exact reasoning as Josh. Yep. I think it's so stupid. I believe that it is something stupid enough to be genuine, <laughs> but it would make me mad if it was right. wrong and I didn't guess it. So I'm sure. saying yeah. it. I don't like that Tyranitar says just one mighty hands, or that's like what, one of its mighty hands. Yeah, I don't like the mighty hands, I but the word I don't like hands. come ashore. I don't like come ashore even more, so I'm <laughs> saying that. All right, and then just for clarification, Will did say a Tyranitar, and his guess is the mighty hands sentence is the wrong. second sentence. Yep. Okay, yeah. the correct so answer here is... Tyranitar. Wow. Oh my gosh. But it's the first Dang. sentence. No. It does not <laughs> hibernate. It is it Pupitar that hibernates? I'm not sure if any of that evolution Dang. hibernates or not, but the only reason it why did, I did make guess that Tyranitar sentence Tyranitar is because I thought the second sentence would be false, but I also know that he he throws hands a lot. All right, boys, next one. Caesar. Bulky pincers account for one third of Caesar's body weight. It uses its wings to adjust its body temperature. Otherwise, its metal body would become too hot and melt in the heat what? of battle. The shell covering its body has been shown to be stronger than forged steel. Even Caesar's muscles are made of metal. Whatever, good. Umbreon. Mm -hmm. It is most active in the wee hours of the night when moonlight bathes the <laughs> land. Uh -oh. Wee hours? <laughs> <laughs> when this Pokemon becomes angry, it pours secrete a poisonous sweat, which it sprays at its opponent's eyes. It bides its time, and when prey appears, this Pokemon goes for the throat and then eats it. You're mean with these. <laughs> I what try. What on earth is going on with that? I try, man. I try. Mm. Pineco. Its shell protects it from bird Pokemon that peck it by mistake. It sticks tree bark to itself with its saliva, making itself <laughs> thick. <laughs> making itself thicker and larger. Elderly pineco are ridiculously huge. They often fall from the trees and attach to the back of larger Pokemon and feed on their leftovers. Hey, this is dumb. Yeah. Elderly pineco. <laughs> Elderly so pineco. Pine well, so yeah, it attaches, that, it this is a thing in the anime. The, 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 like, age is not, evolution is not tied to age. I was about like, to say, I don't think I've ever thought of like, oh yeah, that Pikachu's 90 years old. <laughs> 
<laughs> Happy oh, no he has grandchildren. He pee. He pee. <laughs> yeah, my whooper, he's a grandfather. Mine decided to not evolve and be a 90-year-old child. <laughs> yeah. If okay, if that sentence is true, at what point does a well-aged Pokemon just learn English? <laughs> Meowth did it easy enough, right? With a he magical spoke coin. Too, remember? No, uh Meowth learned English to impress a girl, and then she immediately rejected him. What oh I remember that. <laughs> Hold on, I think that's true. Yeah. No. Wait, a Meowth girl or a human girl? It was a Meowth girl. <laughs> oh, okay. So he learned a language that is not native to the Pokemon yeah. to impress the Pokemon. Yeah. Aww. And it didn't work. So then he became a villain. Wait, wait yeah. yeah. If His you literal learned... villain arc. Wait, if... <laughs> Where, do, do you guys have your answers? Where your heads at? No. <laughs> I yeah, do I do. Okay. I do. Let's see them answers. Josh, or did oh, you say no. C again? Yeah, I said C, and I think it's the elderly part. You think elderly, elderly is the, the fake elderly sentence. are ridiculously huge. Hmm. Okay. And also, what is C doing right now? Well, because you let A in, A is trying to deny it, and C's like, you ate my leftovers that I left in my fridge, because he's living with them now, so he's upset. He's like, But he's come mad on. roommate. He's <laughs> grieving, so he's not as good a roommate as he would have been otherwise. Exactly. Right. Peter, you said A. When I reread it, it talked about the adjusting its body temperature, and then it said otherwise, and I was like, it would be weird if you just threw in that one sentence based off the last one. So I was like, that's probably fine. So Peter, your um, your sentence is the very last sentence. The last one, yes. The okay. Last one. Will, you said B, and which sentence are you saying is the wrong one? So when this Pokemon becomes angry, its pores secrete a poisonous sweat, which it sprays at its opponent's eyes. I would feel stupid not to guess that one, okay. because if that's wrong, I'd be like, well, of course it doesn't do that. <laughs> okay. Well, if the other two are true, that could also be true. So I do right. love my Unfortunate, eyes. <laughs> Unfortunately, Will, Umbreon's sweating poison is, I think, one of the weird things I do remember about Umbreon. But I do That's like spraying it, spraying it in the eyes could be the made up part. At it, least it unreal. It. It's not a poison Pokemon. It's why not. Would it sweat that's, why it's that's why it's ridiculous and a memorable fact. It's just so fact. stupid. I've never heard of that. At least two <laughs> of you insane. said that you think a lie of a real sentence. So that's interesting. The correct answer here is Pineco. <laughs> yeah, let's go. It's the last sentence. Okay. They do not fall from the screen. I was so surprised trees. you didn't guess the leftovers sentence. If you were gonna guess Pineco, that's unreal. <laughs> Le eating leftovers off its back? I figured some stupid, useless Pokemon would need some sort of mooch way to get around. So move yeah. on. Next one. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> yeah, you got it, Josh. You got yeah, it. No. Yeah. It is a wild sentence. Just five words. <laughs> yeah. Elderly Pineco are ridiculously <laughs> large. That's why, I was like, why would they make that a separate sentence? That seems it's, so dumb. Yeah. It's so dumb. Yeah. All right. Last one in the hard levels. Togetic. No records exist of Togetic being seen in the wilds. It grows dispirited if it is not with kind people. It can float in midair without moving its wings. It is said to appear in front of a kindly people to scatter a glowing down called joy dust. That's so stupid. <laughs> to scatter a glowing down called joy dust. Mm -hmm. That's so stupid. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think that's wrong because I don't think you would make that dumb of a typing thing in there. Sure, 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 sure. Mantine. Witnessing this Pokemon leap over the sea's waves on your voyage is a sign that the waters are safe to enter. Postcards and posters featuring Mantine leaping elegantly above the waves are popular souvenirs of Alola. Many people have taken up surfing because they admire how magnificently Mantine swims. And that one is so annoyingly normal. <laughs> <laughs> Quillfish. It finds swimming somewhat challenging. <laughs> <laughs> the small spikes covering its body developed from scales. To fire its poison spikes, it must inflate its body by drinking over 2.6 gallons of water <laughs> all at once. <laughs> <laughs> Over 2.6 gallons. <laughs> when faced with a larger opponent, it swallows as much water as it can to match the opponent's size. Dude, that, that's got to be correct. I'm like foolish. all of it sounds believable. I'm honestly almost thinking about just sending it based off what Josh said. Mantine sounds so regular. <laughs> but what would it be? What regular <laughs> sentence would you have written? <laughs> Keep in mind, one that we made once for one of these that did not air was I made up for Ursa Ring that it climbs to the top of trees, closes its eyes, 
<laughs> yep. And free falls back to the ground to enhance its sniffing abilities. And then needing days to recover, it sends out its kids to go find the honey that it smelled. <laughs> and at least one of you thought that that was true. <laughs> all right, boys. Let's see them answers. You all said B. Man time. Yeah. Oh, let's go. I swayed you all. Josh, what's <laughs> your reasoning? I think it is the postcards one. Peter, you also think that it's the postcards. Will, yep. what do you think it is? The surfing one makes the least amount of sense, which on one hand, I can say that's the one you made. And I, on the other hand, I can say they've made really dumb Pokedexes and that's why mm -hmm. it says it because Mantine okay. don't surf. My thought process was the fact that it refers to Alola. Mm -hmm. We haven't really seen any dex entries that call regions by name yet. Okay. So I believe that they would have some dex entries that refer to regions, but you'd normally avoid picking those. So okay. I feel like you would have wrote it to make us feel comfortable about seeing it. Okay. Gosh dang. Also real quick, Josh, I gotta know the saga. What is what's happening between B and A? <laughs> a went on a blind date with B. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if you're right and if any of you got the right sentence. The correct answer here is Mantine, oh my God. Normal, but right? none of you got the right answer. Uh, what? <laughs> I wrote the first one. I was right. Yeah, I've never heard of that one. Same. I wrote the first Dude, one. That one. What? Oh, maybe wow. it's because it made so much sense to me. It would have been wrong. That's that was a really good one, dude. I, that one is like real life. Boys, fun fact: after three rounds, everybody is tied for first with six Aye. points. <laughs> so it is. It is as close as it can be. Going into the fourth attempt of this quiz, which leaves us only with the Master Ball round. Impossible level. Okay. Only one word is wrong here. If you guess the okay. right Pokemon, you get one point. If you guess the right word, you get three points. That makes sense. Cause it's real hard to pick out one word and be correct. You don't need to tell me what the word is supposed to be. You just have to tell gotcha. me which word is wrong. First one, Igglybuff. It's extremely flexible and elastic body makes it bounce continuously anytime, anywhere. If it starts to roll, it will bounce all over and be impossible to stop. Left to its own devices, it will constantly practice singing. You should make it take a break so it doesn't hurt its throat. Once it starts bouncing, it becomes impossible to stop. Steelix. Steelix lives even further underground than Onyx. Oh, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> this Pokemon is known <laughs> to dig towards the Earth's core. There are records of this Pokemon reaching a depth of over six tenths of a mile underground. It is said that if an Onyx lives for over a hundred years, its composition changes to become diamond-like. It is thought its body transformed as a result of iron accumulating internally from swallowing soil. <laughs> Ampharos. Ampharos gives off so much light that it can be seen even from space. People in the old days used the light of this Pokemon to send signals back and forth with others far away. This is why you can always tell exactly where it is, which is why it usually keeps the light on. It can be used to send sea navigation mm. beacons to distinct foreign shores. Oh boy. Mm -hmm. There's, there's, there's stuff that I've heard wrong. about all three of these, but I mean, we gotta find the one word. I'm just thinking, do you make it ridiculous or do you make it blend in? I do actually have an answer. Okay. Me too. I don't have a good reason for mine, but sure. I'm just gonna send it. Okay. Me too, man. I I, I, I have a feeling. I, I just went with my gut and I was like, eh, whatever, man. I see them answers. Interesting. Josh, you said A. What's A doing, by the way? The date didn't work out and now it's just laying in its bed, just kind of realizing that life is kind of lonely without is, a partner. So you said a hey, ugly buff. What is your word? This is so dumb. But I think if it's, if it starts to bounce, comma, it will bounce all over and be impossible to stop. I don't think roll is there. Okay, so you think that it doesn't say roll, Peter? Mm. You said a. Your reasoning yep. is the word singing. Singing. Uh, I know that like left to its own devices, it will constantly practice singing. I know Jigglypuff is known as such a singer, but is ugly buff? That's all I'm thinking sure. about. I don't right. think it's a good. I don't think it's a good reason, but that's the one thing that yeah. stands out the most to me. And Will, you said Ampharos, and you think that it doesn't keep the light always on. You think it keeps the light always off. Why would he keep it on all the time if it's that insanely bright? Sure. He would probably mm. only use it for the right moment. Sure. Okay. And let's see if any of you got the right mon and the right word. The correct answer here is... Ampharos. Yes. Yes. Yeah. And Will yeah. nailed yes. it. Will really? nailed it. Let's go. 
<laughs> nice. Oh my yes. gosh, I've never felt this accomplished in my life. Well, well, you might secure the dub because getting that word is is <laughs> really hard. It very gives hard. you a, a nice Three lead. Three points is yeah. a huge lead. Yeah. Oh my goodness. All right, number two, Cleffa. Because of its unusual star-like silhouette, people believe that it came here on a meteor. Said oh, to yeah. have ridden here on a shooting star, Cleffa seemed to appear in places where meteorites have struck in the past. Cleffa gather in numbers and glow as though they are indeed incarnations of the stars. Gligar. It sails on the winds with its limbs extended to strike from the sky. It aims for the prey's face. Gligar glides through the air without a sound as if it were sliding. It usually clings to Ugh. cliffs. When it spots its prey, it spreads its wings and glides down to attack. <laughs> This is for the viewer. I think this guy's been in every single one of the four yes, he quizzes has. we've Zane done. Always uses sliding. A sliding and gliding. Sliding and gliding. Which <laughs> one is it gonna be? Celebi. When Celebi disappears deep in the forest, it's said to leave behind an egg it brought from the future. <laughs> no, it's the past. It's the past. <laughs> this, <laughs> this Pokemon traveled through time to come from the future. It bolsters oh. grass and trees with its own strength. <laughs> <laughs> Are we sure it bolsters grass, guys? And it can heal wounds, uh, too. Records describing it as a forest deity can be found from many different eras. Oh Which boy. word is it? Peter and Josh. There's some of these that we've heard so many times that we yeah. just know that they're true. Or maybe I am playing with the fact that you guys have heard it so many times that you really have to remember if this is the Do way that you heard really it. Do you really think we wouldn't notice it at this point? You tell me. Maybe. You tell maybe. me. I've been, I've been tricked so many times by the Gligar <laughs> thing, man. Gligar is my least favorite Pokemon, officially. Gligar is the bane of my existence. You guys got this one. I'm guessing Gligar. <laughs> Screw Gligar, screw Gligar, man. <laughs> screw Gligar. Gligar slides through the air without a sound as if it were gliding. Gligar glides through the glades as if it were gliding. We have seen Cleffa like once or twice, but it's not like yeah, Gligar and Celebi where we've stuff. joked about it sure. so many times, right? I hate that you did that though, Zane. Yeah, <laughs> that I didn't give you three that you've heard a bunch. Cause it's like, did you change something from the ones we're so familiar with? Or are we second guessing ourselves to the point where it's like, it's just something about this one that we're less familiar with. You do what you need to, Peter. I'm guessing Gligar. <laughs> At this point, it's just like, I don't even want to play the mind games. One thing looks wrong, so I'm just going to send that. I don't care. Okay, let's see them answers. Okay, I like these options. Josh, you said A, Cleffa. A, what's happening with A? A is currently giving a seminar on a book it wrote about overcoming hardships. <laughs> 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 and what is your word? I think it's meteor. I think the first and second sentence are not in the same deck entry, and that okay. it's that people believe it came here on a star. Okay. I'm wondering if one of them might say Comet, because I feel like that's a pretty easy word to spell right, out. Right. Peter, you also said A, Cleffa. I did. And you said I just, glow is the wrong word. I don't I don't like that they oh. glow. Mm -hmm. I don't okay. think that they glow. It, it talks about them being like stars, but uh -huh. I don't I don't even know if Clefairy's finger glows when it uses metronome. That's the only thing I could think that that's referencing. And Will, you said B, <laughs> Gligar. <laughs> and you yeah, think it that, doesn't sail on the winds, it glides on the winds. So you think sail? <laughs> is made up. Yep. That's that principle. would be cruel. That That's would be principle. so cruel, Zane. <laughs> It'd be cruel if he didn't guess it and it you was know, right. I do hope Will gets his redemption True. against Gligar. All right, boys. The correct answer here is Cleffa. Yay! Okay. And Peter got the word. <laughs> What? No! <laughs> I actually, I, oh, I, um, no way! I'm actually very surprised. Well I thought this done. was in the bag for Will. They Me gather too? in numbers and they dance. Was dance that just like a stars? Shot in the dark, Peter? Since when do stars dance? <laughs> wow! I was overthinking Gligar and Celebi. I was like, this is too frustrating. I'm just gonna send Cleffa. He definitely just did that. And I was just like, what stands out here? And glow was just the first thing. That's like, I don't think they glow. So Amazing. Oh I thought gosh. Will got it because. He, I didn't think you'd actually put I, I, there uh, three times. Will, I thought we had no chance. Why? No pressure, Josh, but it is your turn. <laughs> it is your turn to get the word, <laughs> Josh. <laughs> All right, boys. Last one. Elekid. 
Oh, this guy again. This guy stinks! <laughs> oh, <brother. laughs> yes, sure. When it's in a house, electrical outlets serve as its baby bottles. Shut up! Um, Shut up! No! <laughs> it sucks down electricity. Come on! <laughs> when, when it hears the crash of thunder, Elekid's mood improves. It can be useful to record that sound and play it when Elekid's feeling down. It loves violent thunder. The space between its prongs what? flickers bluish white when it's charging energy. You're dumb, Zane. <laughs> <laughs> Zane, you suck. Hey. That is. That is. Right, you suck yeah. on outlets, the thing the kids are not supposed to touch. I'm gonna be just like Ella Kid when I grow up. I'm gonna suck on outlets. If I'm not mistaken, does anybody want to take a guess what the next one is gonna be? Hold oh on. Gosh, is it smooth? We know it. <laughs> Gligar's cousin Slidegar. I think you guys. Slide I think you guys. <laughs> maybe some explanation for the for the viewers at home because they've had to deal with him three times already. Skarmory. <laughs> oh no. I <laughs> so regret. Oh, how many meals per hour is it this time? You'll see why. <laughs> what they've had so to deal cool. with. It looks heavy, but sure. it can fly at speeds of up to 185 <laughs> miles an hour. No. Despite being clad entirely in iron hard armor, it flies at speeds of over 180 miles per hour. <laughs> this Pokemon flies at close to 190 <laughs> miles per hour. <laughs> <laughs> People in the past used feathers fallen from Skarmory to make swords and knives. After nesting in bramble bushes, the wings of its chicks grow hard from scratches by thorns. The Smash Bros trophy description for Skarmory says that it flies at about 186 miles per hour. I told him I would not use Smash Bro trophies in the deck entry quiz. All right. There is just a constant dance of how fast this Pokemon is. Remember Raid. Also known yeah. as the Sniper of the Seas, its water gun can hit prey without fail from over 300 <laughs> feet away. No Remoraid sucks in water, <laughs> then expels it at high velocity using its abdominal muscles to shoot down flying prey. When evolution draws near, this Pokemon travels downstream from rivers. To escape from an attacker, it may shoot water out of its mouth, then use that force to swim backwards. I can't believe that guy would be Sniper of the Seas, dude. Looks like he ran into I a wall and got far. <laughs> I refuse to overthink this. I'm sending it immediately, boys. Okay. No. I know. I know what I want to write. I'm sending it immediately. <laughs> He's rain manning it. He's running through all the numbers. <laughs> I just love to get Suck like one of those auction years. <laughs> <laughs> Just a wild sentence, sucking on outlets. <laughs> Pokemon really heard what they're like, the number one fear of parents with babies, and they're like, what if we made a baby Pokemon that needs to do that? <laughs> it actually has when to do that. When going through the adoption process, you probably can't have an Elekid in the house because they're going to teach the kid to suck on outlets. By the way, I while think... he's thinking, in two of the three attempts that we did, I'm really trying to think. there were ties at the end of this. So if it comes down to a tie, I have prepared a two-way tiebreaker and a three-way tiebreaker wow. just it's in case. Insane. Let's see them final answers. Everybody we all say C. said C. Oh uh, we all Josh, what's your reasoning? What's your word? I think it's downstream because I think it swims upstream. I think it's so stupid that it swims backwards upstream. That's what I said, yeah. and I'm happy about it too because that is. I was I was very happy because that's a science thing. Fish swim Thanks, upstream. Thanks, Peter. No, it's okay ready. if I lose, Peter. Uh -huh. wait, 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 no, 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 I said right, the same thing as you. If I'm right, I can't win because that means you're right too. So whatever. Peter, <laughs> when fish get matter. old and they're ready to spawn, they swim no, I upstream. Get it. No, I get Yeah, no biology. <laughs> Yeah, I can't believe because of you. Josh! Although they might swim upstream when they get old, octopi do not live in the rivers. They live in the sea. It would swim downstream towards no, the this ocean. Is, this clearly oh. isn't an octopi. Is. Will, but... you're so right, though. <laughs> so I said evolution. I just think it's weird they mentioned evolution. I was going to say, the, the most important thing here, though, is the fact that A and C, although not lovers, true friends, are now looking over their property as C was the editor for A's book, and now they're looking over a property that they jointly own together as they Aww. know that they can get past any hardship with the power of friendship. <laughs> Oh, wow. Man. This first I book doesn't even end on a cliffhanger. That's great. Are you guys ready for the real answer? If it's okay. a Skarmory speed. <laughs> <laughs> I, you know, I had every right to do it. The correct answer is 
Elekid. <laughs> what? Okay. <laughs> Them ain't prongs. Oh. Them's is oh. horns. Oh, come on. It actually says oh. horns. Says horns. What? You want to know what that's that means, so boys? Dumb. That means for the third time in a row of us doing this, we have a tie. <laughs> I'm glad you made the tiebreaker. Holy cow. We have Josh has seven points. Peter and Will are tied at first at nine points. So we kept this Man. very close the whole way through, but it yeah. does come down to a tiebreaker. The rules of the tiebreaker are very simple, boys. You're gonna get one Pokemon and some dex entry. There will be a blank. When I share the answers that could fill in that blank, A or B, you guys in Discord are going to message. First answer that I see sent in by the first person on my end locks in that answer. The other person is stuck with the oh. other option. Pilot Swine, your dex oh entry is, if it charges at an enemy, the hairs on its back <laughs> stand up straight. It is very sensitive to blank. Your A and B options are, is it very sensitive to sound or smell? Locked oh, in dang. on my end, Will got smell, which leaves Peter with sound. So, I was also going to put smell in, but I'll take sound. So if I think, it, I honestly think it might be sound. So if it's sound, <laughs> I'm not sure. Peter wins. If it's smell, Will wins. I mean, I think I think it's smell because they got those pig-like noses. But now that you mention it, you do got some pretty big flappers there. <laughs> yeah. The correct answer is it is sensitive to sound. Yep. Peter yep. pulls out the wow. win. And just like the very first time that we ever tried yeah. to record this out of the four times, Peter pulls off the win. <laughs> nice. Economically so cool. undefeated. Just like, <laughs> <laughs> <that a> new <laughs> Peter, it's time for your prize. You want to see what you won Ooh. for a winning Let's Gen do, 2 do, edition do, quiz. Do. Let's take a gander. Your prize is... The I can't peek a do this anymore shirt. <laughs> Live reaction of Zane after making this quiz four times. I'd like to I'd like to cordially donate my prize to Zane for putting all these together. I can't. Fantastic. Oh, it's so good. That's the end of the quiz. Congratulations to Peter to pulling it off after the fourth final attempt at this quiz. Canonically in the videos, he's unbeaten at this point. Did you keep up with the tail end? Did you manage to pass the people that were in front? Let me know in the comments. Comments. I'd love to know how you did. I'm super excited to do another one of these, especially because it means that I'm not making the same quiz for the fourth time in a row. Thank you so much for watching. Continue to share away. This is super fun to do. And hey, goodbye forever.